Hello everyone, this is Richo's Hunting Treasure. This is Silverbeard the Grad Sale Pirate and Goldneck and Hunter. And Hunter. And today we're bringing you our finds from a, a house clearance that we found on Sunday. And uh, it was the only one on, so there weren't many people there, so it was quite a good little find. And we'll start with our favourites, our jewellery, of course, because we really scored big this time. And uh, we'll start with the best piece, so don't leave his hanging. An 18 karat gold bracelet, which weighs 6.25 grams, so that's about 4 grams of pure gold. Very nice. And then this piece here is 9 karat gold. So that's 2.9 of 9 karat gold. And these are 9 karat gold as well, Mark 9 karat gold. And they're 1.45. And a toe ring which is 9 karat gold as well. And that is 1.85 grams. So all in all, we got a lot of gold. And then we got a really silver. cool turtle. And it's silver. And it's silver. It's marked on the back. We'll try and get the mark to show off on camera. It's there. There we go. So that's a nice little... Uh, Silver turtle, beauty, isn't he? And then we also got a, and the silver turtle weighs 4.3 grams of sterling silver. And then we also got a, uh, a silver fan, which I think is an earring, but we only got one, one of. And um, as soon as I turned it around, I saw the little mark there. The little mark, yes. It's 95. So that weighs 5.45 grams of silver. And then we also got uh, these earrings. Now they're not marked, but a good way to tell if an earring is gold or not is by checking out to see whether the stem bends or not. Now if the stem bends easily and it's gold, it's quite a good chance that it is gold. If it doesn't bend, then it's more than likely steel with a bit of plating over it. So we've got a few earrings there to check out for gold. They're not marked, but I'm pretty sure they are gold. And then we've got some earrings here to check out, which I think they're sterling, but they're not marked. And then we also got all this today was $50 for the whole lot for everything. And um, we have another thing that I keep my Lego in. Yeah, another huge, huge suitcase. suitcase. And uh, so all this came out of this jewellery box and there's still all these earrings. And then we also got a, uh, a rolled gold chain and it's marked in several places. It's marked on that piece there. It's marked on the ends there on both sides. But it says roll gold, so it's still a nice piece. I'm not sure if it's worth much or anything, but and then we also got a uh, a nice uh, wrought iron and ham uh, hammered copper fire shovel, so we can get all the coals and everything for our fire. And these the bellows, really old bellows, mm -hmm. and then a bit newer bellows and. Uh, we also got the boomerang. Now the gentleman that we bought the boomerang off, he told us a story about the boomerang. When his mother bought it a long time ago, I think it was 60 years ago, she threw it in the air and it came flying back and hit her in the ankle and broke her ankle. So she put it away in a box and never took it out again. So it's been in a box for 60 years. and. As you can see, the bottom of the boomerang is flat and the top has a curve to it. Which means it will actually fly. Which means it will actually fly. And one end is shorter than the other longer end. So that will give it the aerodynamics to come back. A lot of boomerangs aren't made properly, but that one is. And then uh, we've got a Sony Walkman, 
we got a cool little crystal bowl which is quite fun to play with and then we got a uh, a letter opener in the shape of a sword which is quite nice I quite like that raw here we go pirate look out we got another pirate and then we also got a Marvel postage stamp album it's very old very old and it's got uh, stamps from around the world I'll try and go through and find a few of the good ones there's Germany and there's Hitler stamps that's pretty cool all the different German stamps and then there's uh, Great Britain stamps and Queen. And I'm pretty sure there's also some United States stamps in here, which is quite cool. We don't see a lot of them in Australia, so <laughs> probably right at the back of the book. I probably should have found them before I started flipping through. There we go, there's the United States ones. <laughs> right at the back. Right at the back. Wasn't that fun? And I don't I don't know a lot about the stamps, but uh, I've seen that one before. If there are any valuable stamps in there, let us know because like I said, we don't know a lot about stamps, but uh, a yeah, very old stamp book, I quite like that. And um. uh, as I said, we got the whole lot for fifty dollars, so it was quite a good buy. I don't think we've ever got that much gold in one day before. I think this would no, be our best gold haven't. day. So we're super, super happy about that. That piece there is before grams of pure gold. So I'm very, very happy with that one piece. I love it. Anyway, that if you've... Worth, worth $200. And he said he had no jewellery. And he said he had no jewellery when we got there. So we went and had a look anyway and found it. And uh, he said, there's probably gold in there, but because you have been nice, I'll let you have it and hopefully you will get a good gold bonus. So that was very nice of him. You don't come across people like that very often. So if you've uh, enjoyed what you've seen and you want to join our pirate crew, please tap the bell, smash subscribe the bell. and smash the bell, silly old silver beard. So we've got to put our treasures away in the bag for paying the pirates. Yeah, Very important to pay our pirates. And another sneaky peek. Another sneaky peek, are we? Oh, okay, that's enough. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe and... Smash the bell. bell. Okay, pirates, bye.